Hello, this is Jack with Gadget Factory, and in this video we're going to demonstrate using the AVR8 soft processor core with the Butterfly Flight hardware. The AVR8 soft processor is an Atmega 103 compatible soft processor that you can run on the FPGA and you can write your own C programs uh, and it, com it compiles with AVR GCC. And the advantage of using this with the FPGA is it allows you to access all the pre-existing code that's been written for the AVR platform that's available on the internet. So it opens up a, a large amount of pre-existing code for, for use with the FPGA. The hardware that we're going to use for this demonstration is the Butterfly Flight FPGA module and these button and LED wings. Uh, we're going to connect the button and LED wings to open slots on the Butterfly Flight. And these slots are actually mapped to port A and port B of the AVR8 soft processor core. So now that you've seen how easy it is to use standardized peripheral cores with the Butterfly Flight hardware, let's uh, switch over and take a look at the C code. If you go to the gadgetfactory.net website and you look at the AVR8 project, there's a download for this example program. You can download it and take a look at it. Uh, so let's start out looking at the actual C code. It's pretty straightforward and if you are familiar with using uh, AVR, the AVR then it should look pretty familiar. Okay, so next let's go ahead and compile this code and load it on the hardware. So uh, to, do, to do that, you just open up a command prompt in the directory where you've downloaded the code and do a make program. And what this will do is it will use AVR GCC to compile the code uh, then it merges the output, which is a hex file, does a little conversion to a Verilog mem file, and then it merges that file into uh, the FPGA bitstream, and that bitstream is then loaded onto the FPGA, the Butterfly Flight FPGA hardware. So uh, we're just about through that process. It's resetting the device now and loading the design, and we should see that complete. And uh, it looks good, so let's go ahead and switch to the webcam. And we see that the LEDs blinking under control of the AVR8 soft processor with uh, the C code that we just loaded onto it. So uh, if you take note of the frequency with which the LEDs are blinking, we're going to make a change to the C code. Uh, to increase the rate of the blinking, and uh, that will give you an idea of how easy it is to update the code. So we're going back to the source code, and we're just going to make a couple simple changes, and then we're going to do another make program, which will start the whole process over. It'll recompile, uh, do the uh, conversions necessary, merge the code into the bitstream, and then load the bitstream onto the hardware. Right now it's resetting the device and programming the device. And it looks like it went well, so let's go ahead and switch over and take a look. All right, it may be a little hard to see, but um, the LEDs are blinking at a much faster rate. I'm not sure my webcam is picking this up so great. But uh, you get the general idea. So uh, for more information and more details, please visit the gadgetfactory.net website and search for the AVR8 project. Thank you. Bye.